Alright, so how's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well and great. And let's make this short and sweet. Please, if you like the video, press on that like button. That helps me out a ton, you have no idea. And today we are gonna be talking about the leaked benchmarks of the Ryzen 7 7700X and why I think it can be a little bit disappointing when you compare it to the Intel 13th gen leaks. So without wasting any more time, let's get to the leaked benchmarks because we have a lot to talk about other than this. So basically, the latest leaks was the Ryzen 7 7700X. It's supposed to be an 8-core 16 threaded CPU and it was tested on Cinebench R20. And when it, you're looking at the benchmarks itself, we are looking at the single core performance. We are looking at around 20 to 25% increment when you compare it to the 5800X. And when you compare the 7700X to the 13700K, we are looking at around 40 points difference and when it comes to the multi-core we're looking at a huge difference when you compare the 7700x to the 13700k but yeah you have to keep in mind that the 13700k isn't the competitor to the 7700x it's actually the 13600k and the latest leaks suggest that the Ryzen 7 700X is supposed to be priced at around $250 to $350. This is the leaked pricing so far. And this is where the debate is. This is a CPU that's supposed to compete with the 13600K, which is a 24th threaded CPU. Now, there is a bit of uh, confusion for me when it comes to the efficient cores and the golden cores. So I cannot tell uh, how much exactly it is, but I can tell that the 13600K is a 24th threaded CPU. The Intel CPU will have better performance on multi-threaded benchmarks because it has more threads and more physical cores allegedly and uh, yeah also this is the same amount of threads of the intel i5 13 400 which is the budget cpu i5 of the 13th gen uh, it's supposed to be priced at around 220 to 230 dollars the msrp of it or maybe 200 uh, flat so yeah it looks like amd is going to be that evil cpu that cpu that's very good at gaming but not the best at uh, multi-threaded benchmarks when you compare it to the intel counterpart and also you have the another addition of uh, actually that you should need to buy a brand new motherboard but that yeah raises a lot of questions when it comes to the cpu cores and threads regarding the Ryzen 7 7700X because I think Intel will be far more superior when it comes to the multi-threaded benchmarks and it has already the platform ready for it. We're looking at the H610 on board, B660 on board, any of the previous gen, uh, 12th gen Intel motherboards are actually compatible with the 13th gen. So a lot of gamers will not have to do the upgrade uh, if they went with Intel right now or actually are going with Intel right now because as I said before, the i5-12400 is a sweet spot cpu in my opinion because there isn't anything that would replace it in terms of pricing uh the 12400 goes for around 160 dollars the only cpu that would replace it from intel is an i3 13100 which is supposed to be around 120 dollars uh so yeah that's been it guys if you like the video press on that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments below will amd you know compete with intel yeah they will compete but they'll not be the best value for money cpu they don't have that extra edge of having more threads anymore or being a better cpu CPU and multitasking. Maybe this is the go to CPU for gaming. Uh, so, yeah, see you in the next one and peace.